Good morning children and welcome to Thursday's English lesson. We're going to continue reading the story Lost and Found and we're going to continue writing our list of items to take to the South Pole. But I'd like to, for you to add some adjectives this time and some two syllable words. I noticed that some children did this, so well done. So let's get started with the story so far. Once there was a boy, and one day he found a penguin at his door. The boy didn't know where it had come from, but it began to look, follow him everywhere. Can we say that? But it began to follow him everywhere. The penguin looked sad, upset, miserable, whichever word you would like to choose, and the boy thought it must be lost. So the boy decided to help the penguin find his way home. He checked the lost and found office, but nobody was missing a penguin. He asked some birds where the penguin had come from, but they just ignored him. Some birds are like that. The boy asked his duck, but the duck floated away. He didn't know either. That night, the boy couldn't sleep for disappointment. He wanted to help the penguin, but he wasn't sure how. The next morning, he discovered that penguins come from the South Pole. Some do, not all. But yes, this one does. But how could he get there? He ran down to the harbour and asked a big ship to take them to the South Pole. But his voice was far too small and couldn't be heard over the ship's horn. It's a very noisy horn, isn't it? Together, the boy and the penguin set, got out their robot boat, ready to go to the South Pole. The boy took his rowboat out and tested it for size and strength. Just in case they started to sink, they have to make sure that there's no holes in the boat, otherwise they will sink. That's very dangerous. Then they packed away everything that they thought that they would need. And that is where we are going to think about, again, the items that he will need to pack a suitcase. So I'm going to share you now what I have got here with me. Look, what have I got? I have got my very own suitcase. So, I'm going to make it out as if I'm going to South Pole and I need to pack items. Okay, let's see what items I've got here. Now, yesterday, or Tuesday, I was wearing some of the items. I was wearing my nice, soft, warm scarf. <gasps> I will put that in. We'll do our writing at the end. Put in my warm scarf in. Oh, you know what? These are good, strong boots. I wear these to take Maya and Kia for a walk and they keep my feet nice and warm. And it keeps the rain and the blizzards away. So they will definitely need to go in their boots. Ooh, lots of children. Well, gloves last time. Gloves. These are special gloves. These are thermal gloves. And that means it keeps the heat in. So the heat stays in, on my fingers and keeps them nice and warm. Thermal gloves. Keep that in mind for our writing task at the end. Ooh, I've got a nice warm jumper. Nice warm jumper. That will keep me warm. That's a two syllable word, isn't it? Jumper. We'll have to write that down. Jumper. 
I'm going to take that to the South Pole. Keep me nice and warm and cosy. Oh, my favourite socks. My favourite woolly socks to keep my toes and my feet nice and warm inside my boots. So that's my socks. I've got my hat here. Nice, warm, woolly, cosy. Oh, lots of different adjectives. Remember to think of your own. That's going in there. And my last item is my jacket. And this jacket is waterproof. So that means any snow, any rain, won't get through to my body because I have got my waterproof jacket in there. So that's my final item. You could, you may have thought of much more items than this. That's fine. I'm going to pack my suitcase and then we're going to go on to our writing task. Let's just pause. Hi everyone, again. Moving on to our writing task. Now here are some examples of what you could write today. They are cricket and you will need your adult. Woolly hat, thermal gloves, warm boots, cosy scarf. And remember, you just need to sound them out. They don't all have to be spelled perfectly as long as you've sounded them out correctly. So now we're going to go on to the writing task. I'm just going to model two examples of sentences that we can write. So, we're going to write the full sentence. I will pack before we think of our item. I, everybody knows. I will. W, I, -l will. Now, the U comes at the end of a one syllable word. After the short vowel, I, how many the do we need? Perfect, two. W, I, U. Pack, P, A, K, P, A, K, Sorry. Now again, the K comes at the end of the one syllable word. After the short vowel, A. You're right. We need a curler and a straight back. P -a -k. I will pack. Now I'm going to go for the jumper, the woolly jumper or the warm jumper. So wooler, w it's the short vowel up. Mm. And lots of times when we end with the E sound on longer words, it's actually a Y. Yeah. But if you spelt it E, that would have been fine. Jumper. Jumper. Let's put it up. We know how to spell jump and we know how to spell per. You could have spelt jump first and then use the er uh at the end. It's the different er. Uh. We'll be learning this one in a couple of weeks. So I'm just going to check it makes sense. I will pack woolly jumper. Mm, I'm sure there's something missing, Miss Hampson. Try that again. I will pack. What have I forgotten? What have I missed? Miss Hampson, it should be, I will pack a woolly jumper. Did you spot that mistake? So what we need to do, a little arrow because we all make mistakes. And we place our A uh, there. Let me just check. I will pack a woolly jumper. Did you, did you get that? Okay, I like my jacket. So I'm going to choose jacket. So again, I will pack a jacket or I will pack a waterproof jacket. Mm. I, I don't need to think about I will pack because it's already here. I 
ah, I'm not going to forget my ah again. Now, waterproof is very tricky, but if you sounded it out as waterproof, that's fine. But I am going to show you the correct spelling. Water is actually a tricky word in phase five, and the A ah makes the R ah sound. And here again, the er uh that we haven't learned yet. But it can sound out proof. P -er -oof. P -er -oof. Our final word is jacket, and it's a two syllable word. Jack at again, Jack at sound out Jack Jack Jack. And it sounds like it, remember, as in ticket, pocket, but it's at. And then a full stop at the end. Oh, should we check this one makes sense? I may have made, made another mistake. I will pack a waterproof jacket. It's really important that you check because I had to check and I noticed I made a mistake. It's fine to make a mistake, children. It's how we correct them and whether we recognise them. Anyway, I look forward to your writing again at the end of the day. It really does make my day. Keep them coming. Bye-bye for now. Bye-bye, everybody.